Hi Virgo and welcome to your October 2017 tarot love forecast. I'm going to draw five tarot cards as the main energy for Virgo in regards to love and romance. But I'm going to cut this video into three sections. First I'm going to do couples, then singles, and then just on my mind. And what just on my mind is... It's pretty much what it says, somebody who's on your mind and somebody you are probably not talking to very much. So let's see what the main love energies for you guys are for October 2017. King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, and Eight of Swords. Okay. So I'm going to start with couples. If you are a single or just want information about somebody who is on your mind, go ahead and click the timestamp for that. <clears throat> <coughs> All right, couples. So I'm going to draw you a romance angel card to get more information to make this more personalized just for you guys. Interesting. I definitely see a couple here, the king and queen, but the queen is reversed, which means she is unhappy about something. Calling in your soulmate. Okay. So, there is obviously a couple different things happening in this uh, spread. I'm getting a couple different storylines, I should say, since this is general. Some of you, um, I don't know what exactly is the root of it, but with this here and then the Eight of um, Swords being what ends the reading, I feel like you're, you're being restrained from something you really want. Um, it could be both your partner and yourself are being restrained from achieving something you really want. Or, you know, this could just be issues between the two of you where you want one thing and your partner wants another thing and you guys just aren't agreeing and so you're kind of at this place of a stalemate where you don't see any option for compromise, you don't really see any way around the situation, okay? But with calling calling in your soulmate, if you are just having a lot of disagreement or there's one thing that you and your partner just cannot agree on this month, you if you can, if at all possible, it might be better to just drop the subject entirely for the month of October because again I don't see any resolution coming that doesn't mean that it's not going to eventually come it just doesn't look like October is the best month for the resolution of this um, now for others of you this could definitely be a situation where it is your wish to be away from your partner especially if you're male just because I'm seeing the male upright and then the female reversed so if you are a male Virgo, um, your wish could definitely be that you want out of the relationship, okay? If you're a female Virgo, it could be that your partner wishes to be out of the relationship, but for whatever reason, it's like that just can't happen, so there's a lot of conflict going on, whether it's known that one or the other wants to leave or not, okay? Now, if, if you're happy with your partner and that doesn't resonate, don't automatically try to make it fit. I just definitely see that where, you know, it's a wish to get away and it could be because, you know, you've met somebody else that you feel is your soulmate. But for the most part, I just really get the sense 
you guys are working towards something and or you guys want to achieve something and it's just not happening or you guys are not able to compromise on something maybe it's buying a house relocating um, you know and maybe for some of you you could be like a, a stay-at-home mom type of energy and maybe that's not what you want to do and you're feeling kind of controlled by your partner because of that like you're feeling very restricted and maybe like um, you feel like it, you're in a dictatorship or that could be what this whole fight is about maybe you currently work and um, one of you needs to make the sacrifice to stay home because you have kids so I'm gonna pull uh, energy for you and then an energy for your partner to get a better idea of what's going on for most of you I really think it's just something you guys really want and it's it's not panning out in October but um, that doesn't mean that it won't eventually it's just I don't see that for October okay so you're showing us the four of orbs and your partner is showing at the as the eight of crystals okay so this could very well be where you Virgo are feeling um, restricted and held back like it you know like because of your partner um, it looks like with this maybe your partner is working a lot and is away from the home a lot and that's what this conflict is about and you really miss them because the four of orbs you know what you see depicted in this card is somebody who's in deep contemplation and more than that they're also healing and recovering and there's a lot of unresolved emotions at hand with this card so um definitely you are the one coming through as the reversed queen in this reading whether you're male or female and um you're just I don't I don't know your partner could be acting very unfair and very selfish and um, you're just not quite sure what to do but for some like I said it's like their job is what is causing them to be away or other obligations um, maybe you're dating somebody who has kids and um, that's taking a lot of time away from you and your relationship in general and you know there could just be a lot of stupid petty things but um, I'm gonna pull you guys some advice cards I'm not doing that for everybody I just this reading is so interesting and the only real message that I can give you which I don't like is you know whatever you're wanting or trying to achieve or wishing to compromise on it's just not it's not happening in October but with calling in your soulmate you know maybe under other circumstances you might if this was a, a different person you were in a relationship with whatever this is would cause you to um, maybe end the relationship or leave them but with this card here perhaps you feel a really deep soul connection and that's why you feel so conflicted and unable to um, make a decision or move forward but I do have to go back to the storyline where um, you may be a Virgo who is interested in leaving your current relationship because this four of orbs is also you know about contemplation and with the other energy showing as the eight of crystals that could definitely represent the workplace so for some maybe you want out of your relationship because there's somebody in the workplace that you have formed a really significant bond with and it's your wish to be with them and to be out of your relationship okay um, but again for others of you this is like your partner's job is just taking all of their time or maybe you're suspicious that there's something going on with your at your partner's job they're just spending way too much time at work and you're feeling restricted and held back 
I don't know this is all I got to say is if you have like that intuition feeling deep down inside it and in, intuition isn't like a worried mind it's a feeling that kind of just nags at you inside like you don't even want to deal with it really it, it won't leave you alone okay and then a nervous worried mind is you know a mind that's creating all these different scenarios about what's going on where that intuition is like alerting you to something and you kind of know what that means at a subconscious level so it's almost like you don't want to deal with it if you're experiencing that if your partner is you know at work a lot just away a lot and you have suspicions and you know every time you try to bring the situation up it just causes a huge argument and your partner gets very nasty and mean verbally okay because with that knight of swords reverse that's somebody with really nasty verbally cruel energy coming at you okay what they say hurts and cuts you but it followed by the eight of swords it's restriction it's the lack of movement unable to get away from something so it's this is general so it will be different for everybody but if you have an intuition about something don't ignore it okay all right show appreciation explore and compassion so For those of you who have an intuition about something and you're, and you're trying to, you know, really figure things out, you need um, more information, but also you need to soften yourself um, and come into... Like, anything that you may find out or, or discover instead of like immediately flipping out and getting angry try to view everything through a different lens of cause and effect and you know the overall scope of your relationship in general with your partner and honestly with the show appreciation I don't if you are in the space you know where I'm speaking of um, just feeling trapped and restricted saddened by the inability to compromise definitely um, try to find something positive about the situation to focus on okay um, because this card is says like that's where your power is is in your gratitude and the energy of gratitude that you expend from yourself and so but I also feel on another hand with this you know others of you that are feeling really restricted and this might go back to being like a stay-at-home mom type of situation you're not feeling appreciated at all and I think that's why um, you might have this desire to work or if you're currently working you don't want to leave your job because you don't feel uh, any sense of appreciation and gratitude in the home for all that you do as whereas in the workplace um, there's more of a sense of fulfillment so no matter what situation you fall into you need more information about it okay if you're being restricted um, there's probably a good reason and there's you know things that just you don't see quite yet so don't freak out about that okay um, just the month of October doesn't look like the month that it's supposed to happen whatever it is but it will like I don't see acceptance or let go okay I just see come into a greater place of gratitude gain more understanding and look at things through a softer eyes really okay so that's what I have for you guys I'm sorry that isn't the brightest forecast but you know um, I'm sure 
many of you will resonate with it because I mean that's the message is coming through the cards so um, if it didn't resonate don't try to make it fit okay so anyways I hope you guys have a fabulous month I'm gonna move on to the singles now so a single is um, you're not verbally committed to any one person you could be just seeing the same person but you guys have not established a commitment to each other just yet or you could be dating several people or maybe nobody at all so let's see what comes through okay well these two cards fell out <laughs> I was gonna pull you one but we have new love and let your friends help so that is really good Virgo that's better than the couples uh, message right off the bat so um, yeah this could definitely be a good month for you to meet somebody okay um, with that new love there and let your friends help this could absolutely come from um, a friend of yours okay and it could be something like you know you could be saying well none of my friends have anybody single or available to me at this time so it can't happen through my friends well yes it can so um, your friend if they invite you to like a work event of some sort go because there might be a co-worker there that also has a single friend that is perfect for you and you guys will meet okay so somehow some way for some of you this month there through your friends <clears throat> you are going to meet somebody <clears throat> or this has already just happened like barely just happened um, sometime at the like you know in September you just met this person now what's interesting to me is we have this um, Knight of Swords and this Eight of Swords which is you know arguments quarrels and restriction there at the end and then you know when this Queen is reversed she can be quite selfish impractical but um, so maybe for some of you you met this person in September and it was through a friend and you know things were going really great but for whatever reason in October it's like there's a disagreement between the two of you and it like puts a halt on things okay I know that's not the best uh, news but I think uh, um, if you've already met this person you kind of already have a sense that you know there's just something okay there there's just something about them that you know maybe they've um, kind of already shown it and you you've been reserved because you know it's a new person so you want to be on your best behavior but um, for others of you this could be uh, much something on a much lighter note you could have just met this person or shortly after you meet them in in October you know something comes up for them where they're restricted from you there's you know something that happens in their life that they have to um, deal with and that so that doesn't mean like you guys are permanently restricted from each other it's just something about the month of October there is an element of that energy of um, you know not being able to be together or come together as you would like and you know with some sort of quarreling but it you know it starts off like really good really happy and then with that new love there and let your friends help like that's awesome so I'm going to pull a card for your energy and their energy. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get some more information about that restriction too at the end because I just want to know what it means specifically. Okay, so you guys are showing up as the tower, which I did not expect that. Wow, and they are showing up as the solar deity. So... 
whoever this person is that you've just met or you're meeting in uh, September, I'm sorry, in October, um, you're really attracted to them, okay? I can see that. The sun is all, all good things, and that's what they're coming through as. So I don't feel as though who you're dealing with is... Um, being mean or lying to you or misleading you okay I don't get that at all not with them showing up as the Sun card um, that fighting and restriction I don't feel has to do with uh, that person and the way they're interacting with you and you showing up as the tower like this is shock like I'm completely shocked I'm floored I never saw this coming so for some of you, like, you are so into this person, you know, they just take you so high that you're like, oh my God. And maybe you think it's too good to be true for some of you, okay? And that's, that's a self-imposed restriction because you think it's too good to be true. But, um, I don't know, with them coming through as the sun, they're pretty legit, all right? Um, what they're saying to you is real. So I'm going to get uh, some more information on that Eight of Swords there. Okay. So these three actually flipped over. We have the Two of Wands, the King of Cups reversed, and then the Lovers reversed. So that makes sense so for some of you you've already kind of been seeing somebody else when this person shows up in your life or they've already been kind of seeing somebody else when you show up in their life okay like um in fact you might very well be committed somewhere else and um you have come to this reading to look into this particular relationship, the person you're not officially dating. Um, because I just, with new love and then them coming through as the sun, you're really feeling them. You really like them. But with this lover's reverse showing up here, again, uh, this is like a choice. And for some reason, you know, somebody's really unhappy because they're being held back they're being restrained from this person so I don't know I I can't tell you whether you should stay with your current person or go be with this person you just met I would say if you're not committed anywhere and you've just been dating around and you meet this person I would go with this person over all the others but if you are already in a relationship um, and you're trying to decide whether or not to, like, you know, leave the relationship and be with this new person, that, this reading is not for that question. I cannot answer that question. Um, now, also... With this Tower card and the Wish card here, this could actually come out of nowhere. So much so that it shocks you entirely. It's completely unexpected out of nowhere. And that's what puts you in this space of needing to make a choice and, um, you know, feeling emotionally out of balance. But definitely with new love there, I mean, this is general reading, with new love there, if you meet somebody, there is good, good potential this month, okay? For some of you, this is going to mean, yes, you meet somebody new, but it, it, you know, it doesn't work out. It's a general reading, so you need a personal reading um, to answer, to go deeper, really. But for all you singles, if you are looking... Um, 
especially a party because I see the nine of cups there if you are invited to parties by your friends this month happy hours um, anything like that that involves a bar or drinking um, a sports game going over to somebody's house to watch the game if they're having a party do it okay because you have a high probability of meeting somebody this month it's coming through really strong strongly in the cards so you know don't be a hermit don't be a couch potato this month get out um, and you know I don't think you have to be out and about by yourself since you have let your friends help also if somebody is legitimately trying to set you up on a blind date go for it since you know these cards have shown up but um, if if you have met somebody and you're totally just madly feeling them and um, there's this restriction if it's a legitimate restriction like they have to go to work they have to travel or they have family obligations that's just keeping them away from you at this time you know cut them some slack and don't feel like you need to just end the situation okay but if you feel like somebody's just playing games with you or they're being really like you know mean and crappy and just say unkind things and you know don't the choice is to get the hell out of there you don't need to stick around for that there's much better for you okay so that's what I have for you singles I hope that that um, helped and offered some guidance for you guys and I hope that you guys have a very wonderful month okay so now I'm going to um, pull a card for the just on my mind section of the reading and as I said earlier in the video this is somebody who you're probably not interacting with or talking to um, you may but it would be very sparse if you do okay or this could be somebody like a crush where you know um, you just kinda watch them from afar and you have never let on for a second that you have any sort of um, emotion towards them okay otherwise it's just somebody that's really on your mind and you want more information about that so I'm gonna draw um, a romance angel card to get the overall energy for you guys for October Okay, so we have religious factors for you guys, which is an interesting card. So um, right away, I feel like for the majority of the majority of you, the person that you're thinking about is an ex-spouse, like an ex-significant relationship, because we have the king and queen showing in the same suit. And I feel like this is somebody that you really loved a lot and you had a lot of um, good times with and probably spent a quite amount of significant time together years, okay? This probably is a lot longer than like one, two, three year relationship. But also um, with this Knight of Swords showing reversed, this person could also be really verbally abusive and just mean and say things that just cut you up and kind of out of nowhere like just a low blower type of person and that is what holds you back from them okay or this could be vice versa this could be maybe you're the one that you know gets really verbally mean and that's what ended the relationship and with religious factors here this is telling me a couple different things. It's telling me that, for one, you guys do have a very strong and deep spiritual connection. And that's probably why you think about them so much. And two, the reason why you're not together is divine intervention. It's more than um, just the physical manifestation of why the relationship had to end. And, you know, if nobody was verbally mean, it could also be that you guys just couldn't see eye to eye or come to a compromise on some important key issues when you know it comes to a relationship in general but um, it's definitely your wish to be back with this person I see that 
I feel like one of you is open to that and the other one of you is not. And, you know, since this is general, you could be the one that's not open to it, okay? And your partner could, or your ex-partner could really be wanting to get back, but you could not want to be getting back even though they are on your mind. But um, for others of you, this is definitely, you know, where you want to get back and I don't think that they want to so much. And, um... It has a lot to do with just the like the verbal communication things that were said or you know just betrayal type things um also for some of you the knight of swords reversed is a stalker energy to for me, so I don't know um since this person's just on your mind this you very well could be somebody that's just like uh. I want to be away from this person entirely and you know you wonder if they stalk you and I think they might okay so be careful um, I'm gonna pull a card for your energy and and your person's energy the person that's on your mind Oh wow, so you're showing up as the three of orbs, so I'm going to say since this is your energy right here, you're not the one who is the asshole um, verbally here, because this is the three of swords, this is sadness, this is heartache. Oh wow, and they're showing up as the seven of orbs. Okay, so for some of you... Um, yeah, this person really broke your heart, okay? And with that Knight of Swords reversed, they were probably really shitty in the end, just the way they went about it and did it. And um, you're feeling very stuck and restricted in your emotions and inability to let them go and stop thinking about them at this time. But with them showing up as the Seven of Orbs, you you can really do better than this person, okay? This is um, trickery and lies and risky behavior. And paired up with that Knight of uh, Swords reversed, again, that's like stalker behavior. So for some of you, um, this person, you know, maybe you really love them and they caused all kinds of heartache and grief and the relationship ended. And now, you know... <clears throat> they are stalking you, they are bothering you, they are harassing you, and it's causing you a lot of heartache and grief, and you're needing to really fall on your faith and religious beliefs to get you through at this time, and you're just feeling like this is, like, this energy is never going to go away, okay? And for others of you, I feel as though um, you really loved this person, and they are your wish and you want nothing more than to get back with them and you know it really hurts you to feel restricted and restrained from them but with them coming through as the seven of orbs i i think if you hear from them at all it's for their own agenda it's not out of love it's not out of missing you it's not anything like that okay and they may say oh i miss you but you know, really pay attention and see if they're, like, just trying to get something from you. You know, if every time you hear from them, it's just because they want something. Because I see that you are in a lot of pain and uh, mental turmoil over this. And um, with their energy, I don't, I don't see them in turmoil. I see them being the cause of the turmoil. So, whoever is on your mind, guys, my beautiful Virgos, even though you really loved them and they were your wish and you had all this great time with each other, there's an element of that energy that's really hard and cold and um, dangerous even for some. So I would say let it go, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you have a fabulous month. Take care.